Hello everyone. In kinesiology practical, you will have two things. One is a long case and you will have two short cases. In long case, you will have either goniometer, passive, passive movements or massage. Okay, so and first we will discuss about the long case. In long case, um, it is a subjective thing. It differs from examiner to examiner. Some examiner expect, okay, so the basic idea here is that first if you, if you have the long case for of passive movements. So first they expect you to give the definition, the indication, the contraindication and you should be knowing about the spe uh, why it is the indication, why it is the contraindication. For example, why DVT is contraindicated in passive movements because if the clot flows it can result in an infarction or etc etc. So you should be knowing the reason behind the indication and the contraindication. So to begin with you will uh, tell the definition, the indication and the contraindication and explain it why it is so. And then you can go on with the uh, principles. Okay, so after telling about the indication and contraindication, you can start performing your long case. Uh, while performing, make sure before you check for the contraindications. And uh, while performing, you have to first introduce yourself to the peer, the model. Ki, good morning, sir. I'm going. I'm going. I'm your physiotherapist. I'm going to do so and so. While performing, make sure that uh, the cloth of the patient is uh, comfortable so that you are able to do the movements on and all etc etc. And during this while the exam, if you are doing something wrong, the examiner might ask you ki why you are doing SISR. So you can ask answer according to that. Okay, so to, be, to begin with, you should know the definition followed by the indication, contraindications. Uh, some examiner might tell you that directly you can start performing the movement. So it depends, it, it varies from uh, the examiner to examiner. So definition, indication, contraindication, the principles that while performing the hand, place, hand placement, therapist position. Uh, uh, patient body position etc etc and and its effects and uses so this is the overview of the long case in short case you will be having two short case one will be either of uh, uh, the reflex testing bp pulse rate chest expansion etc etc and the second one one will be of yoga uh, starting out derived position anything you will be give, uh, assigned the chits for the same in this also it is the same, you should be knowing the definition, indication, contraindication and its effects and uses. Okay, so in practical, there are three important things. First is your confidence, the way you present it. If initially only you are like, okay, sir or madam, the definition of this is so and so, the indication is this or that, and this is the indication because of this reason, the examiner will have a, have this in th this thing in your mind, ki, okay, this guy knows this thing, so even he, he or she might not listen to the rest of the part but okay the way you are performing is right the you are speaking confidently this will have a good image in, in the examiner and he or she will give you marks so the first one was confidence the second is don't 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 argue with the examiner this happened with me in second year i was about to argue but i was like okay control even if you are right you don't need to argue you might be knowing okay you might be having the reference of this book and you you might have also watched the youtube videos but just don't argue with the examiner because that might reduce your marks. The examiner might be like, Tu mujhe sikha raha, haan, mujhe sikha raha. So, avoid that thing. So, the first one is confidence. Second is, don't argue with the examiner. And third one is, believe. Believe in yourself. You might have had bad experience in your practical during your college time, but trust me, this will go easy. You just need to practice it. Try performing it in, with your friends and all. Do Just revise, keep on revising again and again. Just uh, understand the basic... Uh, crux behind everything ki why it is the indication what will happen the physiological effects so it will be it will make your work much easier believe in yourself and it will go great